Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Celebration Theater. We are Chapter 6. We're a professional a cappella group from the Windy City of Chicago, Illinois. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Chicago. Um, if you're not familiar with a cappella music, you might have come in here and see the signs and went, what's an a cappella band? A cappella is an old Latin term, and it means that we have a special challenge as musicians to perform for you tonight all of our music with no instrument other than our human voice. So don't be surprised if you see us trying to impersonate some instruments. If so if you like harmony, you're in the right spot. And uh, just to tell you a little bit about us, we all met in college about three years ago. And we've been professional now for a little over a year. And it's nice to be off the highway, settling down here in beautiful Branson. And unlike any of the other shows you'll see in Branson, what makes us unique is that you're about to hear up to six parts harmony with no tricks, no sound overdubs, no pre-recorded backup vocals, just 100% harmony. So sit back and relax. This next song is a personal favorite of mine. We're gonna take you back to the 70s now. This is a great instrumental chart with our own twist on it. This is Pick Up the Pieces. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
traveling for a bit. We've been a professional group since January 15th of 2002, so we've been on the road for a while. And we have all learned something since we've been on the road. We have learned that we all share a common love for the Krispy Kreme donut. <laughs> we have some fellow believers out there. That's good. Now, I have something sad. I, I have to ask first. Do we have anybody here tonight that has never had Krispy Kreme donut. Oh, man. Oh. That's too bad. What's going on? Do you on? have a, a good excuse? <laughs> okay, well, that's good. He says no. I don't. I'm sure you'll get there soon, and your life will be changed forever. I envy you. There were two guys in our group that had never had a Krispy Kreme donut when we started this whole thing in January 15, 2002. Come on, man. Come on. It's the skinny guys. <laughs> so here's the, here's the deal. We're driving down the highway, Krispy Kreme donut shop off to the left. This is our big moment, right? So we, we all walk in and we all walk out all triumphant with seven dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah, it, was, uh, it, was, it was a little bit of a mistake, but it was very inspirational because these guys' lives changed forever. Praise the Lord. Amen. We had no choice. We had to write a Krispy Kreme jingle. We'd like to bring out our bass, John, to lead us in the singing of Ode to Krispy Kreme. Thank you. Crispy cream donut. Last night I 
turn the lights down low. Pour a glass of wine. Lit a fire. And ate three dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. in 50s town, it's my solo. <laughs> do, 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 oh, Krispy Kreme donuts, oh, we all Much. You know, real quick, we want to get to know you, our audience, a little bit. Uh, very quickly, are, is there anyone that traveled more than 200 miles today to come here? Oh, several of you. Can we shout out a little bit where everyone's from, starting out here? Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh, hey, thanks, y'all. Back here. Yeah. Right. We got a Chicago. We got some Chicago. Chicago. Oh, That's right. Hey, hey. Back Who here. Who are those people, huh? Yeah. Right. Say again. Texas. 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 Very good. Very How about good. over here? Diverted? Oh, Vernon, Illinois. In Oklahoma. Where's our Oklahoma yeah, folks? Minnesota. And we got some wow, more Minnesota folks. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. Well, welcome. We hope you're all having a good time at Celebration yeah. City. Yeah. Yes. We, you know, we want to... Collinsville what? Collinsville, Oh, we got Collinsville people. That's great. Folks, welcome. We all sorts of Illinois folks. Excellent. Right on. All right. Well, we're going to... We just bring them down from Illinois because no one else will come out and see them. <laughs> <laughs> Bust them down. Well, we're going to bring out the stool, and that means that it's time for some audience participation. Yes, it is. And uh, we wanted, we were discussing, it's not every night you get six guys together to sing harmony, so we wanted to, we wanted to get a, a lovely lady on stage and perhaps serenade to her. And now, before, before you get any ideas in your head, we thought, well, that's kind of to be expected of a, of a men's singing group, so we thought we'd be better than that and do something else. So instead, we decided we'd bring out two ladies. That's right, two. Bring out the other stool. That's what I'm talking about. So Never hey, been done before. <laughs> so this is just a pure serenade. That's all it is. And if you'd like to be serenaded to, uh, ladies, uh, raise your hand to show your interest or have someone raise it for you. And we'll be happy to select two ladies to come up stage. Now, I, we have some people that are, are voting someone on stage. Up, there you go. Over this oh, lovely lady. Okay. Yeah, be willing okay. to come on stage. Make their way to the front. Hey. Come on down. Yeah. 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 Would you please come down? Excellent. Thank you so much. We actually have people volunteer today. This is good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what good. is it to grab someone? You're coming on stage. Come to, or come over there to oh, that's right. Watch your step. Watch your step. Man, it's very dangerous. That's a good stool. That was the right one. <laughs> Nathan, would you yes. introduce us to okay. these beautiful ladies? Thank yes, you. Watch, watch. It's pretty bright. Don't look That's why we keep it 50 degrees in here. Okay. Um, lady number one, what is your name? Sherry. Oh, Sherry. That's good. And where are you from? Originally Illinois. Now I live in Memphis. Oh. Do you like Memphis? Oh, that's all right. Illinois is good. Okay, all right, very good. Everyone say hi to Sharon Ford. Hi, Sharon. We don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable. So. Okay, lady number two, your name is? Chris Maney. I didn't think you were Oh, wait, say that one more time. I didn't think we were going to have to talk. Oh, wow. Well. That's a very interesting name. Yes. And where are you from? St. Louis. St. Louis? Oh, that's not so far away. Do you like it here? Yes. You've been here before? I know. Yes. Okay. All right. I'll just make you stop talking. This <laughs> we'll just sing the song. Show how 
Thank you very much. I have to tell you that on our off time, we like to watch lots of movies and films when we do have off time. And we run into a problem, though, because, well, to be honest, we have pretty short attention spans. <laughs> and, well, we were discussing one day that we wanted to take the storyline to one of our favorite films of all time and somehow work it into a song. And I'm very proud to tell you that we have achieved that, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, boys and girls of all ages, this very moment, we are proud to present to you Chapter 6's very own six-minute version of The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Enjoy. Now, our story begins with a young girl named Dorothy who lived in a farm in Kansas with her dog, Toto, and a pleasant tenor voice. Thank you. She was very happy there. She often dreamed of a far-away place. sing a solo. What? But anyway, the tin man needed a heart. He joined them on a quest through the dark forest slums. They soon began to worry about lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! 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 However, he was a pretty big wimp. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so the county line joined them on their quest to the Emerald City to get some nerve, and soon all four of them were singing together. We are to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of us. We hear he is a whistle, a whistle, if ever whistle was. If ever a whistle was, 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 because, 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 because,
They finally made it to the Emerald City, where the great wizard told them, Kill, kill the wicked kid, witch, witch, witch of the West, West. So they did. Oh. <laughs> I'm melting. Then the wizard granted all their wishes. However, the wizard was a fake, but we won't get into that. Then you all sing happily. The wicked witch. The wicked witch is dead. And so, after her incredible adventures in Oz, Dorothy awoke to find herself back home in Kansas. Poor Jayhawks. Where she lived happily. Ever after. If happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I? Why, oh, why can't I? Thank you so very, very much. You've been a wonderful. On behalf of A.B., Chuck, John, Nathan, Luke, Mark back on the board. My name is Jerry. We are at Chapter 6, and we're going to finish with what we call the Root Beer Song. We hope you've enjoyed yourselves. We've enjoyed singing for you. And here we go. Well, I've always been a bit of a dreamer. Reality just isn't much fun. Well, I've been a pretty Everything is purely subjective, but one man's feather is another man's knife. Everybody's got his own opinions and perceptions of the final things in life. Come on, chap. Well, I've never been too crazy about that. Oh, Alice has left the building. Yeah, no man is clean to me. And I've never really cared if it's a Monet or Picasso, just as long as I like what I see, yeah. Something. I don't know about that. <laughs> You've been a great audience. Have a wonderful evening at Celebration City. Thank you very much.